to the CLJ Sports Motocross TV. Today you will witness the second episode of the third leg of the inner cell for the Philippine National Motocross here in Santa Barbara, Iloilo. So don't change your channel because you will see the thrills and spills of Supercross racing dito lang on the inner cell for the Philippine National Motocross Series. I'm your host, Pepo Rubi of Quick Flight Racing. Check this out. This is now the first heat for the 85cc category of the third leg of the Inner Cell 40 Philippine National Motocross Series here in Santa Barbara, Iloilo. With me is my partner, Ramil Paikang. Yes, magandang araw sa iyo, uh, partner. At uh, kumusta? Well, eto na naman. Uh, back to racing. Kasi, yes, back to racing. Uh, naman dito sa 85cc category. Mm, Ito yung Inner Cell Forte Philippine National Motocross Series second season ng CELJ Sports Philippine National Motocross dito sa Santa Barbara. And for those of you who are watching right now, you are watching the 85cc category, the first seat for the 85cc category being led by the son of... Uh, Glenn Aguilar, which is McLean Aguilar, yes, who is, yes, who is dominating this category. Talagang malayo na malayo na itong si McLean. Inuumusan nila masyado yung mga kalaban niya. At sumusunod sa kanyang partner, itong si T.J. Alberto. Yes, T.J. Alberto, the son of Access Plus owner, Mr. Tote Alberto, who is trailing McLean for second position para dito sa 85cc category. Um, dito sa Iloilo, uh, Ramil, this is a national, national na sukat ang racetrack, which yeah, yeah. is a 980 meter racetrack. So, um, almost um, one kilometer almost yung isang kilometer, ikot. Isang yes, ikot. yung isang ikot. So, yung isang ikot for this category will cost them about two minutes. So, two minutes per lap. Per lap, yes. And this race is scheduled for five laps, so nasa mga 11, 10 minutes ang the whole five laps nila. That's why makita mo, after the second lap pa lang, kalat-kalat na yung mga riders sa laki ng racetrack. Okay. Uh, at sa bilis ng mga riders na talagang mag, magkakahiwalayan kagad sila on their speeds. Kaya... Madaling na dominate ni McLean Aguilar and he is now on the checkered flag dito the first hit partner yes. ito na yung result we have McLean Aguilar TJ Alberto Jeep Reliosa uh, Christian Rix Miss Lomente at Oske Calopes Cell J Pharma and Cell J Sports is proud to announce that a new revolutionary formula for giftedness will soon be launched in the local market. Ang Enercell Forte ay isang produkto na may sangkap ng mga mahalagang vitamina at mineral para sa kalusugan ng mga bata. Meron itong lysine, taurine at chlorella growth factor na siyang pampatangkad. At sa kauna-unahang pagkakataon, ang formulation ng Enercell Forte ay dinagdaga ng virgin coconut oil na napaka-importante yung sangkap na mayroong lauric acid na kilala bilang antiviral and antibacterial. Ang VCO ay mahalaga para mapangalagaan ang immune system ng katawan ng bata at napatunayang nagpapalakas ng metabolismo ng katawan at isang napakagaling na pinagkukunan ng enerhiya. Enercell Forte, energy and strength essential for life, especially for our beloved children.
In the starting line right now is the Executive A category and this is one of the categories which is full packed ang starting gate natin. We have 16 riders in the starting line and these categories are the categories which are over 35 and over 40 years old riders. Pero may nakita ko partner, 19 years old dyan, sumabay. Meron Sino isang, yun? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Meron, yeah. You know? Number five. Number yeah. five. Yes. And okay. hindi na natin sabihin ko sino yan dahil. Okay, kilala niya yung partner, oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, actually, ako yan, partner. Uh, ako yan. That is Pepe Ruby riding in the Executive A category. Um, kasi this is my first race after my injury. So this is so, sort of, this is sort practice. of, uh, yes, a practice ride for me. But hindi ako kasama dun sa point system nila. Pero pinahirapan mo si Roman. Ako ang nahirapan sa kanila, partner. Actually, yes, these are riders over 14, over 35 years old, but they ride like they are 18 years old riders. Makita mo, partner, yung mga riders na yan. Mas matanda ka na isang taon, 19 ka eh. Yes, 19 ako sila, 18. And, yeah, as you can see, these riders jump like, you know, dun sa makita mong 18 years old riders na what the 18 year, what the 18 year old riders are doing, are, yes, ginagawa rin nila. Yeah, makikita mo, dumodobol din sila like what the other guys do. But anyway, this is the category which is jump pack ang starting line. So with the crowd watching the race. So ang daming uh, nanonood sa race na to, partner, ano? Yes. Um, a ticket sales. Ticket sales recorded 8,000 for the first day alone. 8,000. Yes, sa unang araw pa lang, ticket sales uh, recorded 8,000 people viewed this race. And this is one of the areas in the Philippines, partner, which people are very fanatic and very fan of motocross racing. Pero hindi pa kasama nun yung hindi kumuha ng ticket partner, yung saan saan na... Well, madal. as we can see, na punong puno yung racetrack dahil marami ding hindi nagbayad. Marami <laughs> ding, you know, okay. oh, maraming ding dumaan over the bagod Ayan, na hindi na bayad. Well, no. mura lang yung ticket kasi yung ticket sales. Yung ticket uh, income is, you know, donated to some charity institution ginagawa Ayan. ng CLJ. So, uh, everybody is, you know, dito si Luilo is fan of motocross racing kasi motocross racing is parang way of life sa kanila. Yes, uh, parang ito na yung uh, buhay nila doon. Yes, so, and ilong, so maraming kung hindi na. dahil itong tao na yan, yan naka-green, yeah, Mr. Okay. Jay Lacnet, who is president. doing everything para sa field of motocross. So, checkered flag for the executive A category, and these uh, are the official have, winners. Mga winners part of first hit, Armin Santos, we have uh, John Fernandez, Butsoy Castillo, Hermes Banto, at uh, itong si Rolly Castor. Yes, we have interviews for local riders after this. I'm here in one of the pit areas of the local teams dito sa Iloilo, which is the team motorsport of Iloilo. And team captain is Mr. Kirk Balasote. Sir, good morning. Good morning. Uh, first of all, kapaslamat kami sa CLJ Motorsports sa pag-organize ng Iloilo National Race at least ma-develop ang mga gagmay, yung mga kabataan na nag-umpisa pa lang. Okay, sa team mo, Kirk, sa team mo, ilang kayo? And what are the categories dito sa team mo? Kasi tingin ko mukhang marami kayo eh. Uh, may ara kami, ano, uh, Peewee, 50 and 65 CC. Tapos, uh, executive, veterans, uh, novice, kompleto, open, at saka, ano, minsan sumasabay din sa expert. Ano yung mga pakiramdam nyo na national racing is back to Iloilo? Um, mostly medyo stricto yung national compare sa local. Tapos medyo or, mas organized. Tapos mas marami silang kategory. So, so far, mas compare sa local race, mas maganda yung national. Okay. In the executive class naman, uh, we have riders na kumakarera. Noy, which is yung pinakamahirap? The local race na kategory na inter, uh, 
Executive class or the national category executive class? Uh, so far, ang ano ko, ang sa national race, ang medyo, medyo may challenging kay ti damo mga pangayaw, nga lain-lain nga riders, nga sa ibang nga mga towns, ka regions. Tapos, uh, competitive kay sa, kada, sa amun na sa local, isa mga karera kami, tag anong pito, whereas nga diri sa national, Ah, damo gid ya. Kay daw challenging ang hampang kag daw isa pa nga uh, salamat kami nga may national man ading nga ginahelt kay bisan sa iba naman nga mga riders kag kami man ma-develop man ang skill namon kung may ara kami kontra nga maburubog at man. Okay. So, these are uh, the riders of the Team Motorsport dito lang sa Iloilo. Cell J Pharma and Cell J Sports is proud to announce that a new revolutionary formula for giftedness will soon be launched in the local market. Ang Enercel Forte ay isang produkto na may sangkap ng mga mahalagang vitamina at mineral para sa kalusugan ng mga bata. Meron itong lysine, taurine at chlorella growth factor na siyang pampatangkad. At sa kauna-unahang pagkakataon, ang formulation ng Enercel Forte ay dinagdaga ng virgin coconut oil na napaka-importante yung sangkap na mayroong lauric acid na kilala bilang antiviral and antibacterial. Ang VCO ay mahalaga para mapangalagaan ang immune system ng katawan ng bata at napatunayang nagpapalakas ng metabolismo ng katawan at isang napakagaling na pinagkukunan ng enerhiya. Enercel Forte, energy and strength essential for life, especially for our beloved children. This is the Executive B category. We have 11 riders in the starting gate battling for first, second, and third position. Getting the whole shot is... Ay, kilala po yan, Bernard. Yun ang uh, bike number 19. Hindi yes. 19 years old, ha? Bike number bike 19. Bike number 19, guest, rider number 5. Yes, guest rider. Guest number, rider uh, lang. Hindi yan kasama sa points, ha? Yes, kasama, guest rider lang. Guest rider lang. <laughs> yes, guest rider lang para dito sa category Ayan, nito. Uh, yung kasama, yung uh, kasama ka partner ko ngayon si Mr. Pipo Ruby after the injury dun sa mga nagdaang race sa Celsius. Sports. Yes, this is the first race I had after the injury which was 2 months ago dun sa Albay. Hmm. And well, hindi ako ang main event dito, but these are the executive B categories. Yes, the veterans. Yes, the veterans class. I think partner is part of the rehabilitation to sa sugat mo. Well, sa sort agent. of, yes, sort of. Mm -hmm. But nahirapan din ako with Dexter Bakaba. Yeah, Dexter Bakaba. Yes, malakas na rider. Dumarang. Because Dexter Bakaba is the rider to beat, and he is the rider dominating this category. Is Mr. yung hari ng mga veterano, uh -huh. veterans. Uh -huh. and, and Dexter Bakabak is a homegrown talent dito sa Iloilo because he comes from this area mismo. So dito, tanga dito yes, sa Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara, Iloilo. And sort of this race track is Dexter Bakabak's race track. Okay, Parang dito. practice track niya to. Practice track. Yes. At saka kabisa nung kabisado uh -huh. na yung daan. Uh -huh. And we have one more lap to go. Meaning one more lap. Uh, para matapos na itong executive B category but the race is still on with the other guys para dito sa first, second, and third position. Yes, partner. At uh -huh. saka yung nakikita natin na talagang isa sa mga malalakas na rider ito sila si Kirk Basalote ito si Roman Lorente Balasote, partner. Balas I'm sorry, Sote, Balasote. Bala. Kirk Balasote, Bala. yes. Kirk Balasote. Uh -huh. And after this, this is the checkered flag for the executive B category. After this, we will have an interview with top riders from Davao City who are now joining the Inner Cell for the Philippine National Motocross Series. And we will have an interview with them after this. And for the Executive B class, these are the official winners. We have Dexter Bacaba, Kirk Abbas Balasote, Roman Lorente, Ruli Gaston, and John Fernandez. the top riders sa Mindanao and hopefully magiging top riders sa Pilipinas Mr. Kimboy Pineda and Bornok Mangosong Bornok uh, 
Both of you come from Mindanao, especially Davao. And both of you are Kumakarera on the same category. Now, both of you ride on a different team. Ano yung pressure na 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 sa inyo ngayon riding on different teams representing the same lugar? Okay lang kasi parang magkakaibigan na rin. Magkasama sa Davao parang comfortable na kasama yung Kimboy. Okay, for Kimboy naman. Kimboy, nape-pressure ka ba riding against the other guys dito sa national race natin? and riding with Bornok against another team pero magkaibigan kayo is there any pressure kung sino manalo sino matalo sino yung dalawa yeah, yung pressure parang normal naman siguro yun sa isang rider pero sa karera okay lang kasi para har parang halos lahat ng karera nagkikita naman lahat ng rider sa Pilipinas so yung pressure parang hindi ganun kalagay pero yung siguro yun ano bago ako sa buton na ginagamit kasi bagong bago lang kami sa team yeah, okay lang. Okay, so ngayon, are you now officially uh, riding for one team or are you still riding for a different team dito sa national races natin? So, ako, ang team ko, yung ang tawag doon, MISPA. Yun pa ang nag-represent -represent ko. Nagpapasalamat, pwede akong pasalamat. Salamat ako kay Sir Erwin, Erwin at saka Sir, saka Kuya Boots na pinasok na lang ako sa team nila. Kapasalamat din ako kay Sir Jay Lacklin. Okay, so Kimboy naman, uh, you are one of the top riders in the intermediate class. So with Bornok Mangusong. Now, dito ngayon, we are riding for the nationals, which is, nandito lahat ng magagaling. Do you think, you know, can you gauge all the other riders against both of you coming from Mindanao Race? Eh, hindi ako sigurado kasi lahat naman ng rider parang preparado sa bawat karera so may the best man win <laughs> okay so you'll see more of these guys in the future races of CLJ Sports dito lang sa CLJ Sports Motocross TV Therese lozenges available in three nourishing flavors in orange honey lemon and black currant the tastiest cure for sore throats with a satisfying taste that suits you Therese lozenges it relieves the discomfort Theracil lozenges. It cures sore throats instantly. Theracil lozenges. Available in all leading pharmacy nationwide. A quality product of Soji Pharma Corporation. We have 17 riders in the starting line and these riders come from all over the country, Ramil. Yan, ito din yung uh, mga inaabangan talaga. Yes, getting the whole shot is rider Ted Conde from Osamis. Yes, Ted yes. Conde. Being followed by Bornog Mamosong from Davao City. From Davao City. We also have Kimboy Pineda of Tagum, mm -hmm. Davao Oriental. We have riders from Iloilo. We have riders from Manila. We have riders from Cebu. We have riders from Guimaras. Actually, all of the, the top riders, top riders, all of the top riders so well represented ang iba from the country, region. yes, yes, yes. are here. Mm -hmm. At dito mo makikita, dito sa intermediate class. And they are battling for first place position for the pride. Kung sino yeah. talaga sa kanila ang masasabi mo pinakamabilis. Hindi mo talaga matatawaran ang galing ng ating mga intermediate national riders yes and, and these are the riders who will be the next Glenn Aguilar Joby Saulog you know and sino ba yung ibang mga top riders dyan yeah, yeah. these are the guys dito natin makukuha ang the next national champion sa Pilipinas yeah, dito natin <coughs> makikita partner kung uh, sino talaga sa darating na panahon ang susunod sa apat ng ating mga uh, national uh, champions na sina uh, Aguilar uh, yes. itong si Juby Saulo. Yes, and right now, this rider coming from Davao City, Mr. Bornok Mangoso, yes, he's Bornok. dominating this category. Uh, doing uh -huh. the triples part there, no? Yes. Okay, and yung etong, etong finish line jump, Ramil, uh, they measured, the organizers measured this finish line jump. And ang finish line jump na to is being measured about 60 feet 
yung haba. Yung haba lang. Yes. Wala doon sa finish line. From takeoff to landing would From be about 60 feet. And yung takeoff mo, yung altitude ng takeoff jump mo is about 40 feet. Ang taas. Kaya kung makita mo, this is now the last lap. At makikita mo, Bornok Mangosong and uh, Windsor Pamorca is, you know, taking the jump from take off to landing like Kimboy Pineda is doing right now. So, para sa kanila, it's baliwala. So, Simpleng simple lang. Parang uh, sisiw lang. Sisiw um, lang. Jump. Kaya, this is the category where we can find the next Rider of the Years. At saka ang mabata ng mga edad nito. Yes, partner. these are riders. Teenagers, you know, 20, 18, 19, hmm. and 20, 21 year old riders. And this is the category which these riders are being trained para magiging the next, you know, national champion ng Pilipinas. And this is now the checkered flag and Bornok Mangusong taking the checkered flag and will be showing off okay. a hill clicker jump to the viewers and to the public. And dito mo, only here, dito mo lang makikita yan sa Celtic Sports Motocross TV. So, next week and after this, we will have an interview with, you know, uh, the fathers of motocross dito sa Iloilo. And with me are the fathers of motocross dito sa Iloilo. Kung hindi dahil sa kanila, uh, siguro walang motocross dito sa Iloilo. First is uh, dating Akdol and Dennis Akdol. Dennis or Doc for short. Everybody calls him Doc. Doc, uh, yung motocross natin dito sa Iloilo, gaano kabuhay? Ha, ah, yung tungkol sa motocross, buhay na buhay dahil kahit na walang kaya yung mga taga motocross, naghahanap na para ano makakarira talaga. Kahit second hand, kahit moped, Basta makakarira, okay na. Happy na happy. Okay. Uh, dating Akdol, uh, these are the former champions in the National Series dito sa Philippine Motocross. Uh, dating, yung suporta mo ba sa motocross before and ngayon, ano yung, ano yung differentiate, ma-differentiate mo ba sa ngayon and noon na motocross? Ay, noong araw, every camel motocross, ako naggawa ng restock. Oo. Oh. Ngayon, uh, marami na marunong gumawa. Yung ginawa naman, mag-train na lang ng mga rider, matuturo, para at bigay sa porta. Okay, Doc, ikaw ngayon, as a former champion, as a former, the first ever, Dennis Akdol is the first ever national champion dito sa Pilipinas. And ngayon, meron ka ng anak who is riding in the expert class. Ano yung training na ginagawa mo para dun sa anak mo, para magiging national champion din gaya ng tatay? Alam mo, yung karera, laban to sa araw eh. Ginit talaga. Kung kaya mong lumanan ng araw at may resistensya ka, panalo ka. Kung wala kang resistensya, wala kang disiplina sa sarili mo, wala kang body conditioning, hindi ka talaga manalo. <laughs> so, ang kailangan dito, kaya tumagal ako dito sa itong sabi na sports, dahil marami kinuturuan, marami kong binibigyan ng inspirasyon para bawal ang disgrasya, bawal ang aksaya ng panahon at uh, maka mark up talaga ng pangalat, mal, mal, maligaya sila sa ano, happy sa karera. So, these are the fathers of motocross dito sa Luilo, Dennis Akdul and dating Akdul. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, thank you. Salamat, salamat. With me is one of the top riders dito sa Luilo and a son of the first ever national champion rider dito sa Pilipinas by the name of Dennis Akdol, and this is his son, Oriot Akdol. Oriot, good morning. Good morning din po. So, ano yung feeling mo as the son of a former and a national rider? And ikaw ngayon, you are riding in the expert category na. So, ano yung mga pakiramdam mo? May pressure ka ba to give name pa rin sa papa mo? Oo naman. Kailangan, kailangan katulad ng okay lang mo pag local kasi Pag local, minsan, kahit hindi ka maging sayo, okay lang, mananalo ka. Pero pag national, kailangan mo maging sayo, bakbakan. Dahil you have to prepare for every race on a national race because kailangan mo manalo eh. Dahil kung hindi ka naman manalo, okay lang naman sayo pero nakakahiya sa pangalan mo eh. Dahil pangalan, pangalan ng ama mo yung dinadala mo eh, every time you race eh. Kaya kailangan natin maging sayo at saka kailangan galingan lang. So, every race locally or nationally, 
si Papa mo ba is still giving, you know, instructions and giving techniques dun sa mga sakay mo ngayon? Oo naman, pero pag minsan-minsan, pag malalayo na yung karera, tsaka eh, si, eh, matanda na, kaya hindi na minsan sumasali, eh, sumasama. Kaya kung minsan you go by your own or kailangan bitbitin mo yung sarili mo, pupunta yun ng karera eh. Okay, so hopefully we'll see more action of Oriot Al Akdul in the future races of the CLJ Sports. So, uh, Oryo, thank you very much. Thank you din po. Uh, thank you sa pala sa CLJ tsaka for bringing up this national race here in Rilo and we we'll hope to be that it will be back here again sooner or later this year. Okay, thank you. Therese Lozenges Available in three nourishing flavors in orange, honey lemon, and black currant the tastiest cure for sore throats. With a satisfying taste that soothes you. Theracil lozenges. It relieves the discomfort. Theracil lozenges. It cures sore throats instantly. Theracil lozenges. Available in all leading pharmacy nationwide. A quality product of Selje Pharma Corporation. In the starting line, most of the riders make fun.